Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this quick three minute tip, I'm going to show you a way to figure out what your competitors are bidding in Google Ads, or at least give you a rough idea. You're never going to really know what your competitors are bidding unless you have access to their account or they tell you, which is unlikely. But here's a quick free way within your Google Ads account to get a pretty good idea of what the competition is bidding. So I'm in a Google Ads account and um, in a campaign and then if you click on keywords to get to your keyword list for that campaign should look something like this and what we're gonna do is add columns which I've already done but to add them you would click columns and then modify columns and we're gonna go under attributes and then there's two columns that are helpful for this and it's uh, estimated first position bid and an estimated top of page bid uh, there's one more called first estimated first page bid. We're just going to look at top of page and first position. Uh, I already added those, but after you click them, you'll click apply. And that's going to add these two columns to your keyword list. And what this is going to show you is an estimate of the bid that it would take to get to the top of the page or first position. So if you look at a sample search for these keywords, um, this search on desktop is showing four positions in uh, the top of the page so basically the estimate to show at the top of the page would be to get into this spot which would not always be four ads sometimes it's three sometimes it's two sometimes it's one um, and then this second one would be estimated first position bid which is the estimate to get to this first spot so if we look down the list you can see they vary a lot but for the top of the page it goes from seven dollars three dollars five dollars um, and then as low as $1.48 and then for the first position it's going to be higher of course to get into the first position and you can see some keywords are over $20 here's one at $28 and this is probably someone who has an auto bidding strategy on and Google's uh, raising it for some reason I doubt someone's actually manually bidding $28 but it happens depending on your industry and your keywords so this is a good way to figure out what people are bidding, maybe where to set your bid in order to be competitive, or maybe you're gonna determine that some keywords are just way too competitive and they're not worth bidding on for you. If you're interested in getting more information on your competition, you could actually click on Auction Insights and then check out my video that I did that will explain what all these numbers mean on the Auction Insights report. I did a video on that, so I'll link to that video here and we'll see you there.